now that we know how to define a method inside our class inside the class and how to declare a subclass we can see how to access protected and private properties uh, a protected property is only accessible inside the class or a subclass while a private property is accessible from a class but not from a subclass so um, what what it means is that let's say that we have a where it is a protected name uh, protected name so we change the keyword of this variable to protected and then we try to access to the, this uh, this property in the usual way using the arrow syntax so let's clear the screen and here we go we have a php fatal error and because we cannot access protected properties product name as i say the protected property is uh, only accessible within our class or a subclass and uh, they are defined use the protected keyword what it means is that we need to use a method that we defined previously to uh, access this name property uh, and we need to use the get name method that we defined. We are available. We are able to use this get name uh, within the class or subclass to access this product property. So if we use this here and we use this here too, this is going to work for both objects okay um, I have I defined okay we don't need this second object let's make things simple okay now we have the fabulous desk and dependent on bicycle so the first element that we have here which we uh, then changed its name using set name uh, method that we defined and then we get the name and we obviously get the fabulous desk and then we define we created a new object uh, using the bicycle class and we access its name using the get name property a method that is defined inside the parent class and as you see we have access to it so uh, if we don't, don't use that but let's say we want to access the name uh, in this user way using the arrow syntax uh, this is not going to work from the subclass either so this is the name okay we want to access the name the name is protected and when we try to do that we also receive this php file error for the um, subclass bicycle because it's a protected property and the same thing is true if we uh, change this to private and let's see what we get uh, let's write down the same thing for the for the class is not okay so we first have an error uh, which say we cannot access protected property and so we have a php father error because we are trying to access the protected property um, on line 10 which is this line and this is not possible because the property is private and then let's see if we comment that out uh, the error that we receive on the last attempt okay when we try to access a protected a private property um, that is defined and that is defined private uh, inside a parent class and we try to access that from a subclass we receive uh, this error php notice uh, undefined property bicycle name on line 14 which is this line and the result is null 
So when we try to access that uh, private property from a subclass, so we uh, we get the null result, and so another error notice. Let's move forward. Um, of course, as I said, we defined some of the uh, methods, handy methods that we created, like get name and get price, etc. So we can use them to have access to our protected properties. So get Get description, get price, get name. Okay, so if we want to watch at that, let's see what's going to happen. We define that as a private, and we define that as a. Uh, let's do that. The first one we say is a public, so we can access that anyway. Protected, and then we say the price is a private. Yeah, using our m the method that we defined, we see that okay, the name is going to work anyway because it's a public property, so this is going to work, and anything else is going to work as well. So we can see that we have dependent on name, the price, and the description of this object uh, as we expect. This is because, as we said, protected properties are only accessible inside the class where they are defined and or from their subclass. Uh, otherwise, they got you get the PHP fatal error, and we cannot uh, access to them directly using the error syntax because we are trying to access them from the outside, and this is not possible. And Let's move forward and cover the. Let's get rid of that and cover the visibility for the methods. So, a method, um, as we said, we can set the visibility for methods as well, in the same way we set that for the properties, so public methods are accessible from anywhere, either inside or outside the class definition. They are uh, declared using the public keyword. What I mean is that uh, we have a public method set the name, and we can access this method <coughs> as we need. The protected methods are all accessible within our cluster subclasses. They are used defined. They are used. Um, with the mm, where they are defined using the protected keyword, and there are private methods that are only available within our class, and we then declare them using the private uh, keyword in the same way we do for the uh, properties. And then we have another type of visibility, which is the static methods that can be accessed without even instantiating a new class and we use the operator double column operator and this is how it looks like so um, this is a uh, protect so a protected method and this is how it looks like a protect um, private private method and this is how it looks like a static function and let's see them one by one uh, let's see them by one in a minute so let's get rid of them for now and see what we need to do okay let's go back inside our um, main product class and see what exactly
exactly is a public method. Okay, this is a public method that we defined earlier for calculation of stock value. Public method is defined inside our product class and is available for both the class where it's defined and its subclass. So if we create instantiate a new object inside our index.php file, let's get rid of this stuff for now. Okay, let me copy some of the code that I have. Uh, if we instantiate a new object like like this one, and then we um, we dump to the terminal the result of the calculate stock value um, method, we should get a it value. Let's save first. Otherwise, not gonna work. And indeed, we receive an integer. 2400 pound and let's do the same from his particle or his particle class and the result that we should get is 30 key and uh, let's see what wrong we need another argument and which is the color yeah Okay, now if we call the method calculate stack value, we get the result of the operation and it's 30k and that's fine. But that happens because we have access to the public methods either from the class or from a subclasses. So this is working. But if we let's take as an example the uh, get description method that we defined inside our uh, product class a protected method can be only called from within the class or its subclasses so by changing um, this method from uh, public to protected we will get an error and when we try to call it, it either from a class or sorry for from the subclass, um, we will receive an error. So let's try to change this to protected, and let's see what happens when we try to call this. Okay, let me copy some code, let's comment that out. Okay, so if we try to call the get description method from a the product class, we are going to get a fatal error. I didn't save that. Okay, save and try again and this is a php fatal error call to protected method from context uh, blah 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 index line 16. okay this is the error line the, uh, the line that this is causing this error and if we try to do the same thing from the If we try to do the same thing, obviously, from the let's call it that from the particle object, uh, let's copy that. We are going to get an error as well because protected property cannot be accessed okay we cannot call this method from outside of a class or outside of a subclass so how do we fix that so to fix that 
to make this work we need to create another public method inside our class and that is going to have access to the protected method uh, then we can call the method uh, to return the protected values returned from the function so this is what I mean uh, let's go back inside our uh, protected method defined inside the product class and let's define another method that is going to be public and we have a doc block where we describe what this piece of code is and what it does so we return the protected description from the get description function and here we have a public method um, that is a get uh, protected description and then we return simply the this object using the this object keyword and the get description method because we have now access to this get description method from the class because we are calling this method from inside the class so we can access to them and we can return the result and when we return the result uh, by calling this function uh, which is a public function we will see a description let me move back to the index.php file let's get rid of some of this stuff that we don't need for now and let's uh, let's drag down some of the descriptions okay we need another okay we need another parameter here for this object okay I have uh, created a new object mm, a t-shirt object and using the product class and then I have created another one using the bicycle class now I am going to var dump the result of this get protected description either from here and from here from the product class and from the particle class so let's get rid of this var dump for the moment because we don't need so if we were dump that we have now access to the description of the first object and the description of the second object if we for instance as I said before if we try to access that directly so get the description t-shirt get description using the de get description method we are going to get an error because we are trying to call the protected method from the, the context that is not allowed so we need to use the, the me methods that we defined and then we can access to that let's comment it out and hope that makes sense let's move forward and let's see how private methods work private methods are only available from the class and not from the subclass so inside our product so as you see here we can call the get protected description from either the class and the subclass but for the private method this is not possible so this is a level of protection for a method that we want to uh, implement in, in some cases so inside our product class uh, let's change the get description method to a private and see what happens when we call the get protected description from our class or from the subclass okay let's come here and let's say this is not protected so I am changing the get description method 
to private. Now now remember that we uh, created get this get protected description method inside our class and that we can override uh, we can override it from it from the subclass so the get protected description simply returns the get description method so this method below the only thing that it does it returns the result of this get description method and that description method returns the description of the uh, of the subject which is the property that we define here when we create the subject let's put that back to public okay now let's see what's going to happen when we uh, try to call these functions we are going I'm going to rename that to get private just for consi consistency so we know what we are doing uh, this is private okay let's try to call this method from a class but also before that I want to override the this method from its this subclass. Okay, so the public pr function that we define here get private description should access the get description method that is defined inside our previous uh, inside our parent class. But this is not going to work because we can have we can access that only from within the class and now we can call this method from the class and its subclass and see what happens we expect that the first class will be successful the first call will be successful and return the description while the second uh, should return a fatal error so let's get that to work Let's bar dump uh, the private description method from the product class. So we call the method using the firebot that we say where we save the object uh, that we created using the product class. So let's see what oops. Let's see what it does. Let's clear up the screen and then index. Uh, let's get rid of so we created that uh, we created this function inside our product class and that's going to work this returns the result of our um, method so we got the description or the private description of the um, of this object so this is set to this method get description is set to private here you see and we can access it because we are within the class but when we will try to call this the same method that we overrated uh, earlier inside this parent class this is not going to work and uh, we should get a PHP fatal error so let's comment that out for now and let's copy the same thing using the bicycle object and let's see what it does it should return an error and indeed Proud method is not available to child classes. Shell return error, and in fact, PHP fatal error. Ca call the private method get description from context bicycle, and this is not possible to do. Okay, hope that makes sense. 
let's move forward let's get rid of this stuff for now let's move forward and see uh, public uh, static metal so let's go back inside our main uh, class so a static method can be called without need to instantiate a new object we can simply use the class name followed by the scope resolution operator and that and the method of or property so for instance let's create uh, inside our puzzle class two methods one that calculates the stat values and one that returns the profit the first function accept one parameter that is the quantity and it multiplies it by the price and the second function accept two parameters price quantity and the cost inside the second function we call the first calculate stock value function since this is a static method we cannot use the, this keyword in this context and to call this the method the first method we need to call the method prefixing it with the class name and the scope resolution operator otherwise we will get a php for the level so let's create the first function i am going to copy all functions um, i am going to put them inside our product class at the end so we are going to talk about static method so okay okay we have another similar method um, let's that is the same yes let's get rid of that for now because it is the same okay uh, so we have the calculate stock value as uh, same method be that we had before but we made it a static method so this method returns mm, the stock value and the second method calculates the profit so as always we use doc block we define the parameters with this param annotation then we define what we return out of this method so um, we use the static keyword and the public keyword uh, followed by the function keyword and the name of the method and inside here we define three parameters uh, we calculate the total cost of this product by using the cost and multiply that by the quantity and then we calculate the total value and the total value is calculated by calling the, mm, the calculate stock value from inside this method uh, this is a static method that we are calling and we multiply that price by the quantity then we return the total value minus the total cost to calculate the profit so let's see what we get let's go inside our function inside our main in index.php file our entry point and let's see okay we declare a variable uh, stock value and we assign we assign to it the result of calling the calculate stock value of a product and that simply multiplies 20 by 120 and then we calculate the profit and we call another static method so how do we call the static methods we use the uh, scope operator which is this double column uh, after the class name and then we can call the mm, function so in this case the function accepts three parameters the price the quantity and the cost so without uh, declaring uh, without using the block's annotation we won't be able to have this, this 
description of the function and what it does and which means uh, somebody reading the code won't be able to understand that very well so after that we can move to uh, we can uh, bar dump the result okay let's see stock value and the profit so these two functions are essentially detached for an object from an object um, are just static function that can be we can use um, when we need so let's work on that so we have a stock value of 20 uh, 2400 pound and a profit of 1320 um, that's is what we got by calling these two functions and static methods are also available by the by the subclass so if we do the same for the particle class uh, using particle uh, class name and follow by the um, scope operator and the method name we can call these two methods and then what we get is the result of that also from the subclass so now we are pretty much ready to move to the fun part where we actually output the some content to the page and we create this small simple project 